Hello ladies and gentlemen and otherwise what's up, my name is Devious and welcome to a quick guide on how to unlock Bosja because there are precious few videos that actually tell you the quest requirements and where to go to find them to unlock frickin' Bosja. It's honestly, it's quite staggering. It is in fact a bit disturbing how long it took me to figure this out without having to ask someone for help. I slugged through it, now hopefully you guys don't have to. And, uh, you know, usual YouTube shilling, if this teaches you anything, if you liked it, if you're sharing it with friends because it's useful, like, comment, subscribe, uh, Discord, etc. Now, how to actually get to the Bosjan Southern Front. Now, first of all, why would you do this? Well, there's some pretty spicy gear that you can get. I'm not going to get into details about it because I still honestly don't know too much about it. But also, it is fantastic for leveling up classes from 71 to 80. It normalizes you at 80. You can get a taste of what in-game skill sets look like. And simultaneously, you can get yourself up to that point without much issue. So... All of that being said, stated, and otherwise, how do you actually unlock the Bosjan Southern Front? Well, it's a bit of a process. Please brace yourself. I'm about to alt-tab. Now, don't let all of this fool you. It's not that bad. So the quest line that you need to look out for is Hail to the Queen. You get this from uh, Katen in Kugane, which is this NPC right here. He does not move from this spot. It is uh, this particular area. Let's let's call it at uh, where am I right now? Uh, X 12.2, Y 12.3. So just 12 and 12. Find 12 and 12. It's pretty easy to find him. He's not that particularly difficult to locate. And this is also where you get the uh, pre-requirement quest or the requirement quest that is not mainline content. Now, hopefully that didn't look too bad. Oh god, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I didn't mean I didn't mean to show you. The, uh, I did, please do not look behind the curtain. Okay, so uh, hail to the queen. To do hail to the queen all the way through, because you don't just need hail to the queen. You need uh, all the way through to the Bosjan incident and a couple of more or a couple more quests so i don't have it on at this moment however take it with a grain of salt you need to have done vows of virtue deeds of cruelty uh in the main story quest now i believe this is up to 5.3 or 5.35 some shenanigans like that uh i'll I'm not going to bother you by looking up a quest list and showing you exactly where it is. Uh, do main story quests, or you can look it up yourself. I trust you guys to have that much of a brain. God, that sounded really bad. I'm sorry. But essentially, this is where you need to be in the main story quest. Uh, do the Hail to the Queen quest all the way through. To start it, you need to be at Shadowbringers. And then City of Lost Angels is the end of the Dramatis Personae questline, which you also pick up from K10 after you finish Stormblood. So at this point, if you have uh, Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty completed, then you can do the Bosjan questline all the way through, as long as you have the Ivalice questline uh, completed as well. And this is an Alliance quest. It's a lot of fun. Uh, pay attention to the story if you like. Uh, I Honestly, I kind of burned through it a little bit on the quick side uh, because that was kind of my introduction to uh, how much I dislike streaming games. Uh, streaming story, anyway. I actually do love streaming games. Oh my god, that's very bright. Anywho, uh, this is the actual quest that unlocks the... Uh, it, god, if I can remember how to brain. This is the one that has the requirement of Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty. This is the one that you want, Wear Eagle's Nest. So, you need to be a Disciple of War or Magic, level 71, but you need to be level 80 to do the quest in the first place, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh, Fire in the Forge, I will show you where you get that. It is not terribly difficult. And then to actually get into Bajja, you talk to Sejeros, Jeros, whatever his name is, and you do all this from Gengos. Now, how to get to Gengos and how to do it easily. Let me flip over to Final Fantasy. And 
everything that I'm about to show you, you get by doing the quest lines that I have uh, set forth. Basically, just talk to Katen, talk to him about um, the For the Queen or whatever the quest is, and that will take you through everything. You just follow the little blue dots. It's super easy. Now, once you do that, however, you go to the Domen Enclave, and there's a couple of ways to actually get to Gengos, which is your uh, Bajan Southern Front hub, I guess. And uh, there, are, there are a couple of ways to do this. Now, first of all, you can go down here to the Ferryman. And actually, let me, let me make sure I'm not talking out of my ass here, because I think there's a, a couple of different ways that you can do this. One of them is you get all of the um, all of the Aethernets done, and then you can just teleport there through the Aethernet. It's very convenient. Alternatively, I believe, right, it's not the ferryman, it's the airship pilot. Talk to this guy, and he will take you to Gengos if you have already been there. So this is how you get there if you don't have the Aethernet. Now, if you do have the Aethernet, all you got to do is come over here, and it will take you to Gengos. Now, once you get to Gengos, uh, there's a couple of things that you do need to do whilst here. First of all, follow this, uh, the story quest line all the way through and get that done up to and including the Boston incident. Secondly, you're going to come over here and talk to Geralt, and he will craft you your first uh, resistance weapon. And this will be on whichever class that you have equipped when you take the quest from him. You do have to be level 80 to do it but you also need to do that in order to actually get to Bajja in the first place. Uh, next up, uh, you talk to Zlatan for any further... Uh, God, if I can remember how to brain. If you, if you want any further weapons out of him. I haven't actually done any excess ones, so I don't know what that entails, but uh, that's where to do it. Now, once you have done this one... I'm going to alt tab for a second... So, once you have done uh, the Bajja Incident and Fire in the Forge, which is where you get the weapon from, ya boy, and once you have Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty up to where it needs to be, i.e. completed, this is where you get where Eagles Nest. And that is where you actually finally go to Bajja. So, over here, you're going to talk to Jeros, and he's going to send you to the Bajjan Southern Front. Now, once you get there... Uh, you can essentially go back just like with... Homie's styling down there, damn. That's the elemental gear from Eureka, I think. Okay, don't get, dis don't, don't get distracted, don't get distracted. So, you talk to Jeros, he will take you to the Bosnian Southern Front. It's an instance just like uh, Eureka. Waiting for it to load. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now, once you're here, there are, there are going to be a number of blue quests. I would recommend doing them all. They give you some uh, little bits of information and tell you how to exist in Yon World. Basically, what you do is you find uh, anything on the map, and you go and you do the thing. And as you do that, you get metal. Once you get enough metal to get to the rank threshold, you come back here, talk to your resistance commander, you get your rank up, uh, you collect Bajan clusters, you can trade those in for stuff at Yon... Where'd he go? Okay, Yon Resistance Quartermaster over there, and I think there's another place you can trade. I could be wrong. Uh, there's a couple other little things that you do. Uh, basically, you do little historian things, you turn in stuff for them, there's special drops for that, there's a secretariat over there. Uh, Dem Demitar, Demeter over there, it gives you some quests as you level up. And I assume he is how you uh, rank up and get to different places, because as you can see, I only have the first little bit of the map unlocked. I haven't been at this for too long. I just wanted to put out this video because, you know, nobody else was doing it. <clears throat> and that is pretty much it. One thing, you will not rank up until you come back and talk to the Resistance Commander, so be very careful that you are doing that on a regular basis, otherwise you're not going to be making any progress. And I don't know if you lose... Uh, if you lose progress, if you get your medal all the way up and then come back and don't talk to the commander, so you, you know, just better safe than sorry. Don't uh, <laughs> don't forget to talk to your commander. Then of course there's uh, other basics around here. There's a locksmith. Uh, you'll find lock boxes. You can pop them open and get some nice loot. There's an appraiser. This guy is a little interesting. You can find stuff 
out there in these little crystals and then you I don't know I guess you can use these out on the field and it's extra little bits to kind of help kind of like the sustaining potions I would assume for uh, uh, POTD but anyway uh, how long did that one take it was only 10 minutes okay so that's pretty much it for Bosja as far as I am aware uh, at a minimum that will get you started and hopefully this explains things in a nice concise way that doesn't just tell you, oh, to get to Bajra, you go to Gangos and go to Bajra. It, it's that that really bothered me when I was first going through this because there's so many guides of getting started in Bajra, but there's no guides on how you actually get to Bajra. So now I'm putting one out. So there you go, Internet. I'm complaining and providing a solution. That'll be it for now. If you guys have any questions, by all means, drop them in the comment section. If you liked, drop a like and, you know... Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed and would like to see more. Uh, roundhouse that bell icon because YouTube really likes that and I wish to appease the algorithm because, you know, this is a really, really cool thing. I would like to do it as a job. And uh, if you'd like to see more guides like this, either how to unlock stuff or just in general how to do things, I've been threatening a tank guide for a while and I'm still working on that, I promise. Uh, yeah, let me know, man. Uh, on that note, there's a Discord down below. Jump in, ask for Chaos Crew Tag, you'll be informed when I'm up to shenanigans, or we can just chat. Totally up to you. And that'll be all for today. Have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all next round.